Story recap tier. Today I'm going to explain a horror, mystery, and thriller film called Slender Man. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. A group of high schooler friends, Ren, Chloe, Katie, and Hallie come across their guy friends, Tom and Kyle, who have plans for the night. Ren asks them what they're going to do, but the guys just tell her that it's a secret. A few seconds later, Hallie excuses herself to go home. During dinner time, Lizzie, Hallie's younger sister, asks if she can come with Hallie on her sleepover with the other girls, but she doesn't allow her. After a few moments, Ren arrives at their door to pick up Hallie. Again, Lizzie tries her luck, but even Ren tells her she can't come. The girls meet up at Katie's house where her father, Mr. Jensen, is passed out drunk on the couch. As they hang out, the girls are also drinking. When they hear a thudding noise, Katie tells them that it is just her father getting another beer. With that, she reveals her desire to leave, complaining about her state of life. Soon, their topic shifts to boys, where they start teasing Chloe about Kyle. However, Chloe keeps reiterating that she isn't interested in him, but she does know about the boys' secret plans. It turns out they were planning to summon Slender Man, so the girls decide to do the same. They search about the internet urban legend, reading information about Slender Man. Apparently, Slender Man has hypnotic powers and preys upon innocent youth, taking them with him. With much curiosity, the girls start watching the video that'll summon him. Afterward, they just brush it off, thinking it's nothing. But that night, Hallie gets a nightmare about the video, seeing herself within the dark forest that they saw. Even after a week, the video still plagues her nightmares. During their school trip, Hallie asks the others whether they've been having nightmares as well, but Ren is the only one who says yes. However, the girls notice that Katie is acting a little off, but when they ask her if she's okay, she says she is. However, she's visibly drawn towards the woods, stopping in her tracks to stare within the trees. Later on, the trip finishes but Katie is missing. With growing unease, the cops come to conduct a search so that the students could get back home. After being questioned for a while, the group goes back on the bus for the drive home. Even after a while, there are no leads on Katie's case. Back at Hallie's, Lizzie keeps asking her about what happened but she doesn't know what to say. Suddenly, they hear someone come inside their home. They call out for their parents, thinking it might be them, but there's no answer. Realizing that someone must have broken in, Hallie goes out of her room to investigate, ensuring that Lizzie stays inside. Downstairs, Hallie sees a tall silhouette in the corner of their living room. Frightened, she immediately runs back to her room as the silhouette follows her. When they lock themselves in, the perpetrator tries to open the door. Hallie calls 911, but when she hears that it's Mr. Jensen calling for Katie, she drops the call. As they open the door, Mr. Jensen greets her with much hostility, thinking they're hiding Katie. Furthermore, he blames Hallie for exposing Katie to occult stuff. Slowly losing his cool, Mr. Jensen can no longer stay calm and starts attacking Hallie. She pushes him back before running away with Lizzie. Soon, the police arrive and apprehend Mr. Jensen. At school, Tom asks them whether they actually tried to summon Slender Man because apparently they've chickened out. As the guys leave, Hallie tells Ren and Chloe about Mr. Jensen. She reiterates his words from last night about how Mr. Jensen blames them for Katie being into the occult. Even though they seem to have no idea that Katie was into the occult, Ren takes it as a clue. She theorizes that Katie's disappearance has something to do with Slender Man. However, Hallie tells her that she was probably kidnapped. Still, Ren is insistent that she felt something after watching the video, and that she's certain Katie did too. But the other two still aren't convinced. To satisfy their curiosity about Katie's disappearance, they plan to break into her room to investigate. When they arrive at the Jensen's, Ren knocks at the door, acting as a distraction so Chloe and Hallie can sneak through the back door. As Mr. Jen greets Ren at the front, she talks to him about Katie, both sullen at the loss of a loved one. Opening up to Ren, he lets her in. On the other hand, Chloe and Hallie check inside Katie's room. They discover Katie's multiple drawings of Slender Man. Furthermore, they also find her laptop. Taking the laptop with them, the girls reconvene at Chloe's. They follow a rabbit trail of Katie's browser activity, which leads to more information about Slender Man. This includes video sightings and missing people cases related to it. What's even more peculiar is that Katie talked to an anonymous internet user who goes by AlleyCat93. As they read her chat's history, they find out that Katie has been digging further into the Slender Man phenomenon and even details her own experience about encountering the myth. They also see a video sent by Katie to Alley Cat, dated the night before she disappeared. 
The video shows Katie walking around the woods, visibly scared and cutting out when she seemingly encounters something that spooked her. Back at Wren's, she brings home Katie's laptop and can't brush off what they discovered. Hence, when Alley Cat starts chatting with her, she responds as herself, telling Alley Cat that Katie is missing. However, Alley Cat isn't surprised. So, Wren asks whether there's a way they can bring Katie back, which Alley Cat answers that it depends on what they're willing to give to him in return. The conversation ends with Alley Cat telling Wren that Slender Man is already watching them, knowing they're interested. The next day, Ren relays her discovery to Chloe and Hallie, but they still don't believe her. But, Ren insists that they can try bringing Katie back by surrendering something that they truly love to Slenderman. Despite their doubts, Ren convinces them to do it for Katie because the police have no leads. That night, they go into the woods with their sentimental items. Ren sacrifices something she made in pottery class. On the other hand, Chloe sacrifices a picture of her with her dad before he died. Then, Hallie sacrifices a small, knitted blanket made by her grandmother. One by one, they destroy their belongings and then put Katie's missing person poster on top of it. Afterward, they wear blindfolds as they ask for Katie's return, ensuring they wouldn't look at Slenderman's face. After waiting for a while, Chloe starts to get antsy and removes her blindfold, thinking that it's ridiculous. She hears something lurking within the woods, then sees Slenderman's silhouette near the trees. She immediately runs in fear, making Ren and Hallie remove their blindfolds to chase after her. Chloe trips as she keeps running, making Slenderman catch up to her. As she turns around, he's already reaching out in front of her. After a few moments of trying to look for their friend, Chloe returns to Hallie and Ren, but she's already acting differently. Ren starts questioning her, but Chloe just dismisses her, saying nothing happened. That night, Chloe gets a video call from an unknown number, but she still answers it. The video call shows live footage of her house, yet when she looks outside, there isn't anyone. She sees the camera pan closer to her house, seeing herself in the window before the unseen caller goes inside. Slowly, the caller arrives in front of her room, so she opens the door to see who it is. Still, she sees no one. Looking around her room, she doesn't notice Slenderman creeping up behind her. The tall, faceless creature starts choking her as she screams. A few days later, Chloe hasn't been to school at all, nor is she answering Hallie's texts. After school, Tom comes up to Hallie to check up on her and then ask her out on a date. So, she agrees to meet him at his place. In the distance, she sees Slenderman watching her, but he disappears when she turns back again. In the library, Ren is still caught up on researching Slenderman. Online, she sees multiple missing person cases related to the urban legend. She follows a lead about a book that details the strange case of Slenderman as a bioelectric system. Therefore, Ren goes to the bookshelves to look for the whole book. Once she finds what she's looking for, she immediately calls Hallie to let her know about it. But mysteriously enough, the call doesn't go through. Suddenly, all the lights flicker off and she sees Slenderman starting to come after her. With nowhere left to run, Slenderman successfully corners her. Unable to move, the faceless creature grabs her face, making it disappear. Ren starts freaking out as she's unable to see or shout. She bumps into the librarian's cart, bringing her back to normal. Due to the fright, she hurriedly leaves the library with the book. Ren chases after Hallie in school in desperation, trying to convince her with the evidence she found. She reads out a passage from the book that paranormal contact with the bioelectric systems often results in a symbiotic relationship. Because of this, the host organisms, or the victims, experience personality changes, bizarre behavior, mental illness, psychosis, loss of contact with reality, self-mutilation, suicide, and nonspecific dissolution. Ren asks whether Hallie has started experiencing something strange, so Hallie tells her about the time she saw Slenderman while talking to Tom. Furthermore, she also tells Ren that she can't contact Chloe because Chloe's mom keeps saying their friend is sick. So, they visit Chloe's house at night to check up on her. There, they see Chloe staring out the window with bags under her eyes, acting weird. With that, they just leave, unable to talk to her. Hallie says she doesn't want to do this anymore, but Ren states they have no choice because they're stuck. However, Hallie is still in denial, not wanting to believe what Ren is saying, even when Ren keeps telling her to read the book. Hallie walks away from her, saying that Alley Cat is probably just a 50-year-old dude living in a basement. The two end up fighting, but Hallie doesn't care because she's thinking about her date with Tom. At home, Hallie excitedly gets ready for her date before arriving at Tom's place. With only themselves inside the house, the mood immediately turns heated. They start making out on the couch, but Hallie keeps getting distracted by sudden noises such as thudding noises. 
When she turns back to Tom, she sees a nightmarish version of him, with his head shaking. Freaked out, she pushes him off. Tom gives her a glass of water to recuperate and tells him about the whole Slenderman thing. This makes him curious, so he attempts to check it out, but Hallie immediately stops him and makes Tom swear not to watch it. At school, Ren is still mad at Hallie and ignores her. So, Hallie calls out to Tom instead. However, he's acting visibly different and ignores her. In her room that night, Hallie reaches out to Alley Cat to ask for help, but she sees that the user's account is terminated. Because of this, Hallie texts Ren to apologize, but Ren says it's already too late. Suddenly, she hears someone calling out to her, hearing that the voice is Katie's. She gets lured outside her house with Katie's voice asking for help. As she walks further into the woods, she sees Katie and starts chasing after her. However, all she sees is Slenderman in the distance. Immediately, she hides behind a tree, but of course, the creature catches up to her. Slenderman starts grabbing her, but this turns out to be a nightmare and she wakes up back in her bedroom. She goes to the bathroom to freshen up, but she starts feeling woozy. Looking down, she sees that her stomach starts expanding and branches are sprouting out of it. Once again, she jolts up from this nightmare. However, the problems don't stop because she hears a commotion in Lizzie's room, only to see that her younger sister suffers from a panic attack and passes out. At the hospital, Hallie walks around the place and starts seeing off-putting scenarios. Walking further into the hallway, she even comes across a tall doctor creeping her out. Back in Lizzie's room, her younger sister is covered by a white blanket, so she immediately tries waking her up, but Lizzie's face starts spasming. Suddenly, Lizzie grabs her arm making her start seeing visions brought upon Slenderman's horrific, nightmarish visions. She snaps out of her stupor when her mother grabs her arm and sees that everything is back to normal. She takes another walk, only to run back into Lizzie's room when medical professionals start storming inside. Seeing that Lizzie is freaking out about a creature with no face, Hallie goes back home to snoop on Lizzie's laptop. There, she sees that Lizzie started getting involved in the Slenderman case. There's even a video of her sacrificing her treasured possession, all from Ren's orders. Angered, Hallie storms to Ren's house to confront her about it. When she gets no answer, she lets herself inside. Further into the house, she sees that Ren's room is full of Slenderman's photos and everything related to it. As she checks her laptop, she sees that Ren is pursuing a lead about Alley Cat, someone who turns out to be named Allison Riley, a psychiatric patient that mysteriously disappeared. Suddenly, she notices Ren's window open and finds her friend attempting to jump down the ledge. She urges Ren to go back inside, but she isn't responding anymore. Just as Ren finally starts to fall, Hallie pulls her back inside. Ren apologizes to Hallie regarding Lizzie, saying they did it before Ren knew how dangerous it was. Furthermore, Ren realizes that sacrificing something they love isn't enough because Slenderman wants them. All of a sudden, Ren gets a video call showing the inside of their house slowly creeping up to her room. So, Hallie rushes to lock their door. Still, Slenderman's shadowy form easily slips inside the room. Before they could even react, branches burst into the room through the window. It grabs Ren and pulls her outside. Once more, Hallie has a vision, finding herself in the forest that was in the Slenderman video. She walks past the lone gate and soon comes face to face with Slenderman. However, she doesn't get attacked. Instead, she offers herself to the creature. But when Slenderman starts morphing into his final form, with tentacle-like branches sprouting off him, Hallie immediately runs away in terror. Still, she gets caught by the branches and is pulled towards Slenderman. Then, she starts morphing into the tree as Slenderman finally takes her. Back at the hospital, Lizzie wakes up, shouting for Hallie. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.